Alex Rich. I said, Councillor White, not me. Never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, in fact, you've got to judge for yourself now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to announce up onto the stage a young man. I've the pleasure of knowing this is the uh, most successful business awards that we've ever had. Um, we've had a record number of uh, entries this year, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, you are the lucky ones, actually, because you're able to be here this evening, which um, goes something because... We, this was this event was sold out some time ago, so well, well done. Well done. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, this here again for council, he makes it look so easy, doesn't he? It's effortless the way he stands there, and it's wonderful, wonderful. What an incredible event! We couldn't afford a roof, but look at the stars. <laughs> it's the Havering Business Awards. Give yourselves a round of applause for turning up this evening, ladies and gentlemen. And let me make one thing absolutely clear at the very top of the show. I don't worry, it's dinner in a moment. I'm just introducing dinner before we crack on with this. The first thing I want to say is that everybody in this tent is a winner. It's just that some people are slightly more winnery than others. Now, um, you may have <laughs> Seamless. Thank you. That round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to start this little section with a bit of advice. Never eat candy floss on a roller coaster. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you can shove the Baptist. This is where I want to be tonight. The eyes of the world are on that man there. He's doing a fantastic job. Are you excited, Sam? Where he is. I mean, Warren, sorry. I know Warren's over here, isn't he? Marge can't lie. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it um, Yes, can we welcome back to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, some people who are going to be present on the stage, very important people. Um, first of all, actually, can we have a, a, a proper thank you round of applause for the council? And I'm not an even part of this bar, which strikes me as a great thing to do. Let's hear it for the council putting on this whole event. No, they haven't. It's 75 for the 
And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage two people who are going to be Councillor Benham. Lovely music. We're bonding already. It deserves a lot more than it got. Right, personal favourite of mine. Come up straight away. This has been sponsored by Neo Post Limited. What a great name, by the way. I spoke to you guys earlier on. Neo Post. That almost sounds like something German during the war or something fantastic. It sounds properly exciting. Neo Post. And here to present the award is the Customer Services Director of Neo Post Limited, Warren Tate. Let's hear it for Warren, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Can I just check? Uh, uh, Ian, I've been handed two envelopes. In rehearsals, I was handed one. I'm slightly frightened. What's the, what do I do with the big one? That's just, what's that? That's a, a note from your husband. Okay. It's a certificate. It's, all right, I'll do the jokes. Now, Brilliant. ladies and gentlemen, Warren is here. Lovely to see you, Warren. What's your surname? Peace. Warren Peace. So the, um, the nominations, Warren, I shall read them out to you. The nominations are Molly's Florist. Lake House. Yes, let's hear it for these people. Molly's Florist. Lake House. And Acumen Design. They're all here in large numbers. Now, Warren, would you like to tell us, please, um, why the winner won? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's been great pride to stand on the stage today as a um, Avon born and bred uh, gentleman. Um, I think the reason for our um, uh, commitment to the business today for the award that we're speaking about is Come really on, about Molly. giving back to the community. And uh, um, the work that this individual business has done is, uh, and giving back into the community has been absolutely outstanding. So um, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, thank you, Warren. Well, there's high praise indeed from Warren. And the winner is for best business in the community, Acumen Design. Acumen Company. Here he comes, or she comes. In the community, my goodness me, we started right at the top there. Next up is Best Hospitality in Havering, and immediately that makes us all think, doesn't it? Where did we last get given a sausage roll and a nice conversation? Well, we're about to find out. This has been sponsored by Romford Recorder. And here to present the award is the editor of Romford Recorder, Mark Sweetingham. Let's hear it for Mark! Up it come, Mark! How are you, Mark? How lovely to see you. Now, can you tell me, I'm interested in but what does Romford Recorder do? Do you stand outside with a microphone for hours on end? What do you do? It's the local weekly newspaper. Biggest selling weekly newspaper in London. Is it really? How oh, fantastic. Absolutely. Come on, that's amazing. Wonderful. Is it just print or have you done a CD Romford? You can use that when you get back to the office. You're not going to, are you? Right. So the nominations are, as you well know, um, uh, Mark, are um, Kids Space. Which ironically sounded like a group of five year olds screaming. It was a lo lovely, lovely, youthful sound you're making there. That's obviously, obviously a youthful. Um, yeah, you have a serious face, Mark. Um, just on the edge of threatening. <laughs> and Queen's Theatre, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I open up and find out. Oh, sorry, and the Harrow, the Harrow. Sorry, folks, nearly forgot you. Um, tell us, please, Mark, um, why the winner won? It was um, an online online vote. The uh, finalists were put on the recorder website, and uh, our readers uh, were asked to vote, and the winner got 64% of the votes cast. Wow, That's more how they won, but uh, 
That is also why they won. Yeah, it's why. It's why and how. And now here comes the who. The winner is Queen's Theatre! Well Goes to the Queen's Theatre. Here they Best hospitality in Haverhill. Can you pop out and get me a pint? No, Ladies and gentlemen, not the smallest, but the best small business. Sponsored by Lloyd's TSP. Yes, they're still popular. And here to award the award um, is the senior manager commercial at Lloyd's TSP. The fantastically named, you don't mind me saying, so I, I love your name. I'm sure I'm going to love you when I see you. Let's hear it for Martin Bumpus. Martin Bumpus from Lloyd's TSP. Martin, now as you know, these are, well I'll read through the nominations, let's have a nice round of applause please for each of the nominations. First of all, Divine Water Plumbing, Heating and Electrical Limited. There's a catchy name for a company. Surprised it's a small business, you would have thought the sign would take out Arthur Street. <laughs> finally, network, not finally, um, networking in East London and Essex. Well, that's a stop, you can meet me, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and um, finally, Pip Smoothies Limited. <laughs> Three worthy companies. Small businesses, and um, over to you, Martin, to talk us through perhaps why the winner won. Thanks, Tim. Uh, we're absolutely delighted to be um, presenting the small, uh, Best Small Business Award. Uh, the judges um, were very uh, impressed with the high um, score against the criteria, the fact that this business is building a team to, to grow the business, and the growth seen in, in the business over the last few years. Thank you, Martin. Have you got a house, Martin? <laughs> the winner is, ladies and gentlemen, it's, there's a lot of feedback, isn't there? And not all from the audience, may I say. It is, it is the one I hope would win, indeed. Um, we've needed two cars to write it on. Um, it's uh, Divine Water Plumbing, Heating and Electrical Limited! Excellence in Marketing Award is sponsored by Go30. And here to present the award is the director of Go30, 97-year-old Wayne Heath. It's not, it's a lovely Wayne Heath. Come up and join us here, would you please? Wayne, how are you? Uh, what, what does Go30 do as a company? What's that? What do you do? It's a worry, man. It's a special. This is a special award for services to the business community and very excitingly it's going to be presented by Madam Mayor, a charming lady who I spoke to earlier on today. Um, please welcome on the stage, Hi, Norman. Madam Mayor. Where's it going? I wrote to you. Okay. 
Good evening. Just been telling you that it's a change of plan. Okay, so this is a special award that I'm giving this evening. And the business awards have been the main feature of the business community's year for the last eight years. And this is only possible by the support of all the sponsors and the supporters. And I've been asked tonight to present one of the two special awards uh, for individuals, individually at this time, and uh, the, the organisation that they represent. We've been strong supporters of the Business Awards since its first year in 2005. So it gives me immense pleasure to ask Christine Smith from Molly's Florist Good who has God. supported the Good awards Christine. since they began. <laughs> Christine from Morris Lawrence, I do apologize. A special award, Christine. 